Hey guys, Sam Martin from Tech Fusions here, and today we've got a tutorial on how to install the official Samsung software, which is 4.0.3 Ice Cream Sandwich, on your Samsung Galaxy S2. And this Galaxy S2 is the GTI 9100. So today I'll be showing you how to install the official ice cream sandwich software for your Samsung Galaxy S2 and this works internationally so um, if you got the GTI 9100 um, sorry if you got that uh, anywhere in the world it will work for you and I'm in the UK so it works for me you know that um, here is the software which we'll be installing as you can see it's 4.0.3 Basebound i9 100 XX LPQ. There I am in the reflection hole. And um, yeah, build number kernel. All of that stuff will be installed in this version. So it's the proper official Samsung firmware. Okay, there's a couple of requirements that you need before you start installing the software. And I'll just go over these now. Okay, so what you're going to need is, of course, your Samsung Galaxy S2. Um, you wouldn't be able to do it without it, plain and simple. And you need to have an official firmware on here. Um, no custom ROMs. If you've got a custom ROM on there, you know how to get back to a stock ROM. So just do that. Um, just put it back to 2.3.5. I recommend that. And it will be fine. Okay, the next item that you require is a USB jig. Well, you don't have to have one of these. These are just very handy. Um, it puts your phone into download mode without any pressing any buttons or trying to reset. This is a custom-made white one that I made for my hacking uses and Odeon downloads. And they are very handy. We sell them on our website for £3.50, the black edition. Well, just the normal plain black ones. But if you're interested in a white one, we can always make one for you. Um, yeah, what you do, you just plug this into the bottom of your phone, like so, and it just brings it up on download mode. And um, we got a video about them, so that'd be down below as well. You can check that out if you don't know what they do and want to know more about them. But as I say, you just put them in download mode, and they reset the binary count as well, so they're really good. And little cheap devices, they're only three pound fifty. So yeah, um, there is another way how to put your phone into download mode where you. Um, turn it on and hold, hold down the volume button and the home button and it brings it into download mode I'm not sure if that was the right instructions but I will show you how to do it properly in a while um, another thing that we need is an, a, a Samsung official cable so this is official USB 2.0 cable as you can see it's there it's got the shape and it's got Samsung. I recommend getting an official one, not a third party piece of rubbish because I used a third party one and it was only USB um, 1.0 and it didn't work and it just messed up my phone. Like I did it trying to flash my phone when it was on gingerbread and it just messed up my phone. Now is one of the pieces that you definitely need. You need this otherwise you might mess up your phone like me and I won't be held responsible <laughs> if you do but if you listen to my instructions fine you will be fine as well and another piece of um, software you need keys which is um, Samsung software this is um, like Samsung's iTunes basically so it like syncs with your Samsung phone you don't have to make it sync all you have to do is install it plug it in make sure it downloads the drivers properly and then you're ready to go you also need Odeon um, free I'll put a link for that down below you can just download that straight from there and you also need the official firmware which is the 4.0.3 firmware and it's a torrent link so you will need uTorrent or BitTorrent installed to download it. It's very quick if you've got good internet speed so just leave that to download. Once you're done just carry on with this tutorial. 
Okay, from there, what you want to do now is turn off your phone. And let it just boot off. If you got a USB jig hand handy, you know what to do. Um, just once it's vibrated and turned off, just plug this into the bottom. No, oh, if I can find it. And then, just wait a moment, and it comes up in download mode. From there, you can just plug it in and let it connect to your computer. But I need to show you the other way how to get into download mode. Okay, now it's the phone's off. What you do, you hold down the down button, the home button, and the power button. Just like that. Then it comes up like this. Warning. Blah, 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 blah. And then you just press um, volume up to continue. And there we go. It's in download mode as well. So that's without the USB jig. But as I say, I always recommend a USB jig to use. Anyway, enough about that. Once you've done that, you plug your USB cable into the back of your computer. Well, on a USB point uh, 2.0 port. And as I said, it's the best way and to make sure that it won't ruin your phone, ruin the software on your phone. Now I like to use my docking station here. You know, just plug that into the back of there. It's, again, it's just to be safe and make sure it don't move about when I plug in. So once you've got in download mode, just plug in your Samsung Galaxy S2. And then, as you can hear, it's got connected to the computer. And I will show you the rest on the computer screen. Okay, now we're on the desktop. There's one important thing I missed out to say before plugging it into your computer and putting it into download mode. Just take your phone out of download mode and do this step. you got to put it into USB debugging mode. And to do that, I will put instructions in the description just how to do that and just mention it quickly. As I can show it on my phone as I've got the 4.0.3 already on there and it would be different on your phone. So I'll put the instructions in the description below. So sorry about that. Okay, now carry on with the steps. Um, you installed Samsung keys, so you got that. That sometimes takes a while to install, but once you install that, plug it in and make sure it installs the drivers. And then um, you got the Galaxy S2 files. Here they are, they got um, the firmware and got Odium 3 and the configuration settings there. So once you've got this, you can carry on. Okay, press Alt, Control, and Delete which will bring up this screen and then click on start task manager and not many people do this but I just like to make sure keys is shut down so you find the one that says keys close that they may be two or three even open on your ones so just open it uh, just click on it and end process and process and just make sure all the keys application is closed down once you have done that you are ready to carry on Okay, now you have to double click on Odeon 3. And if it looks like this, you have done it right. Um, that means your phone has been detected into download mode and is ready for Odeon to put software on it. Okay, once you got here, all you need to do is click on the bootloader. And then once that open you find the file it should be down here somewhere here you go click on this one here and that's all you have to do and then once you've done that press start and it will install but I won't press that as I already got the software on my phone but once you press that it should take about five minutes just going through information your phone should change and an awesome Android logo will come up and that's pretty cool but once it does all of that it should say pass and if you've done that you've done it correctly and followed my instructions perfectly so well done to you <laughs> but yeah that's all you really have to do and then you will have 
4.0.3 on your phone so that is great if you've got any more questions about it or any more um, tutorials you want me to do on the Samsung Galaxy S2 please mention them below um, and yeah I hope you enjoyed okay right I'm gonna end this video now uh, this was Sam Morton from Tech Fusions please comment like and subscribe thank you